Okay, boys, that completes your warm up for um, session four. So if we could um, evade the pool, and this will allow us to get the session started on time so that we all can all get away on time. So no more diving, please, boys. That is the warm up finished. Boys, this is the last dive, please, and everybody then needs to vacate the pool. No more diving from lane six, please. No more diving from lane six or lane one. That is the warm-up finished. The warm-up is finished, boys. Thank you. Okay, so before we get session four started, um, after, good afternoon and welcome to everybody joining us for session four, to those of you in the spectator gallery and joining us on live stream. Paul will be vacated just shortly to enable us to get started with session four. Before we do so, however, um, I'll just run through the health and safety. So in the event of an emergency, a siren will sound and staff will direct you to the nearest exit. Please ensure that you keep all fire exit areas clear. Take a look around and check where the nearest exits are. There are to be no glass items or outdoor footwear on poolside. Swimmers on leaving poolside should dry off and wear the appropriate dry clothing and footwear. Stairways should be kept clear. There are to be no mobile phones in the changing rooms, toilets or shower areas. Anyone wishing to take photographs or videos the consent forms for this are available at the meet entry desk at the top of the stairs. Videos cannot be posted on unsecure club websites, but may be posted on secure club websites. When videoing, you are asked to focus as much as possible on your own club swimmer or your own family member and remembering the rules about sharing these videos. So uh, swimmers are asked to be at the marshalling area, which is at the back of lanes three and four, approximately 10 minutes before their own heat. So allow us to keep the meet moving this afternoon. My name is Jackie Smith. I'll be joined by Stuart Stevenson again for this session. Our technical officials are coming on deck and I'll introduce you to our senior officials. I think they are, yep, they are on deck. So our referees this afternoon are Ross Stewart and Robert Fleming. Our starters this afternoon. Our starters this afternoon are Rob Barrett and Ed McCarty. So we will start off with the um, male 11 to 18, 400 meter IM with event 401. That will see three heats before we move on to the 100 meter butterfly for both fe female and male. We're due to finish this afternoon at circa eight o'clock. We managed it last night, so uh, hopefully we'll do so again this, e this afternoon early evening, whatever it is now. In fact, no, we'll be slightly later than last night. Uh, it's about 7.45 finish, but uh, we'll just, as you can see, the swimmers are now lining up and we're looking as if we're ready to go with heat one of event 401. This is heat one of three, lane one, Autumn McLeod, Grangemouth, two, Ollie Jeffords, Red 96, three, Connor McNaught, Grangemouth, 
4 Max Smith City of Glasgow 5 Jack Hanley Rin 96 some young swimmers in here Jack Hanley 12 Autumn McLeod 13 Ollie and Connor 14 Max Smith 15 so pretty tough event I think you would most swimmers would agree 400 IM and lane 4 is in the lead at the moment in his early stages so that's Max Smith 36-57 in the first half of his butterfly a strong start here from Max so we'll see how things go as it progresses each discipline can make things switch around a fair bit A lot of these swimmers will be chasing, I'd say the majority of them chasing either consideration or qualification time for snags. So we'll keep an eye on these as well. 118.52 after 100. Max Smith in the lead just now. So Max is 15. Qualification time for 15 year olds is 5, 18, 30. Consideration 5, 27, 85. So Max got to take a decent amount off his entry to make these times. But down the ages, some of these swimmers are a, a bit closer to that. 11 to 13. Qualification 5, 43. Consideration 5, 57.3. So our swimmers in the outside lanes, Oren and Jack, are both sitting six minutes or 6.04 for Oren. We're not too far away from consideration. Ollie Jeffers and Conor McNaught, both 14. So they're chasing a consideration of 5.41.96. So it's still Max Smith, the 15 year old. Sorry, that's wrong. It's uh, Connor McNaught, 14 year old from Grangemouth in the lead. 247.86. Ollie Jefferson in second, 248.35. Third is Max Smith, 253.69. Let's see what the breaststroke brings. Ollie, the Ren 96 swimmer, possibly drawing up here on Conor McNaught from Gangemouth. Connor still just in the lead. Coming through well in this breaststroke as well, Lauren McLeod in one. With a strong stroke for him. So Conor McNaught just about holding off. Ollie Jeffords over the first half, it's really close. It's a point three of a second between them now. Well, it was a really good turn there though. He spotted that danger. He's pushed ahead off that transition there. So Conor McNaught now up in that stroke rate. Giving it a bit of focus and trying to pull away from Ollie. Still Max Smith in lane four in third place. Fifth and sixth, not too far apart, but it looks like Oren Clouds and then Jack Hanley. After the breaststroke leg, uh, that gap has opened up and the lead has opened up. So, Conor McNaught now. 4.25.79, but five seconds ahead now of Ollie Jeffords. Oh, he made the second half of that breaststroke count. But these boys are in... No, sorry, they are in the same age category, so Connor and Ollie both 14. So, 5.46.80 entry for Connor. And 5.56.50 for Ollie. So 
So we're going to the final turn. That gap is closed to only a second. So economy not similar to what he did in the breaststroke. That gap closed up by Ollie Jeffords, and then he spotted the danger and moved on the second half of it. And it looks like he's spotted the danger again, and he's just holding Ollie off here. Or will Ollie find something towards the finish? It looks like Conor McNaught will take it. So Conor McNaught will take this one. And let's see what his time is. 5.43.91. Ollie Jeffers 5.44.68. So some good improvements there on entry time. And now coming to complete the race. Max Smith, City of Glasgow. Entry of 5.48.10. So it's a 6.02.9. And then 605-66 for Oren and Jack Hanley, This is heat two of event 401, lane one, Jay McKinnon, Western Bartonshire, two, Stefan Snathjuk, Strand Ra, empty lane three, four, Alexandru Vasilios, Combinold, five, Cooper Sloss, for N96, and empty lane six. So two 14-year-olds swimming here in this heat, both of whom have consideration times for snags. Looking to improve that to get themselves now themselves a qualifying time. So they need to get 5.32 and under to get a qualifying time this afternoon. And it is the 14-year-old from Dumfries. Sorry, I beg your pardon from Strand Ra leading the field. As we come up to the turn after the first 100. And behind him is the Cumbernauld swimmer, Alexandru Vasilios. Western Bartons is Jake McKinnon in third and Cooper Sloss in fourth. So Steppens turns there, 112.24, 113.90 for our second place swimmer, Alexandru Vasilios. And there's a five, just about four and a half second gap between second and third place. Third place, Jay McKinnon. Boys transitioned into backstroke. Two lengths to do of this. And it is still the Dumpstrand Ra swimmer, Stefan Snastiux, leading the field. As I said, he already has um, a consideration time, so he's looking to improve. He's just about 2.65 seconds away from the qualifying time on the basis of his entry. He's turned at 157.45. Alexandru in behind him, 158.94. So Jay McKinnon in third place ahead of Cooper Sloss. Not much of a gap between first and second place, however. Now, we've often seen changes in the order of the field the next section of an IM, the Mutsuken breaststroke. So Stephens, a body length ahead of Alexandru at the moment. Stephens goes into the tran turn to transition to breaststroke, followed very closely by Alexandru. There's just about, just under two seconds of a difference between the two boys. What can Alexandru do to Get himself up alongside our leader. Stephens has led from the start. Jake Kinnan in lane one in third. And Cooper Sloss in fourth over there in lane five. And moving away at the front of the field is the Strand Ra swimmer. As he's going to turn. Now, 
So he has just about, just under a five second lead now. So he's extended his lead over the last 50 meters using his breaststroke. Extending his lead from the Combinold swimmer, Alexandru, over there in lane four. Both boys entered as 14 year olds into this race. Coming down into the closing stages of his breaststroke is Steffens. He'll transition into freestyle. Keep it on the clock for him. 4.13.43. And the gap between him and Alexandru now is eight seconds so uh, as I said a moment ago he has extended his lead Steppens out there in the front took this on very early on in this 400 IM turning now in third place Jay McKinnon with Cooper Sloss in behind him so it looks like this may be the finishing order unless Cooper can do anything to close the gap between himself and Western Bartonshire's Jay McKinnon. So Stephens has turned, he's heading for home. Alexandru has turned and head for home. Neither of these two boys are going to be caught now. It's all about third place. So there's a three second gap between third and fourth place. Whether Cooper can do anything about that on the final length, as in comes our leader right from the beginning of this race, Stephens Nastyuk, finishing a time of 5:28:21. So he'll be happy with that. Alexandru Vasilios finishes 5:37:80. I beg your pardon. Just trying to have a look here to see whether the finish time gives us. So Stephens has got a qualification time now for Snags for the 400 IM. Well done to him. As that's the race completed and we move on to heat three. This is the third and final heat. Lane one, Marcus Blake, City of Glasgow. Two, Finlay Bennett, Rutherglen. No swimmer in three. Four, Gregor Skinner, Bones. No swimmer in five. Six, Jake Ferguson from Grangemouth. Quickest on paper, Gregor Skinner. 5.05.60. So it's Finlay Bennett out quickest there, 31.45. Jake Ferguson, 32.17. After the first half of the butterfly. So both Gregor Skinner and Jake Ferguson have currently have consideration times chasing a qualification. Finlay Bennett already has his qualification time. Marcus Blake is chasing a consideration. Only about a second or under a second from that on entry, so we'll be keen to secure that today. But it is lane two, Finlay Bennett in the lead. Quick start there, 107.15 on the butterfly. A couple of seconds ahead of Marcus Blake. Third place, Jake Ferguson has to go into the backstroke. So it's always interesting, the fly is a it's a very energetic stroke, takes a, a lot out of swimmer, so into the back stroke. Do they keep that pace up? Do they use it as time to breathe? Still first at the moment. Finley Bennett, only a couple of seconds in it now. The ground has been made up for that first stretch of the back stroke by Jake Ferguson. 
Marcus Blake in one is not far behind either. So, Finley Bennett, 15 year olds from Rutherglen. In the leads, Jake Ferguson, the 16 year old from Grangemouth, has edged up over this discipline. And I think he's just going to possibly nick this at halfway. Very close anyway. Yep, he does. Jake Ferguson now in the lead. 228-27. Finley Bennett, 228-53. So really nothing in it between the boys. Very good transition there by Finley into his breaststroke. Oh, he's made that count. And he's now nudging in front here over the first stretch of the breaststroke. See if anything else can change in the positions behind in terms of time gained. And certainly, Finley Bennett has had a very good breaststroke so far. You know, it was less than a second on the previous turn. Now it's about two seconds. So he's gained two seconds in the previous 50 metres on Jake Ferguson. Quite often, very good IMers are very good breaststrokers. And it looks like this is the case here. So, Finley Bennett, strong breaststroker from Rutherglen. Has opened up a fair lead now as he completes his breaststroke. 3.54.33 into the freestyle. Jake Ferguson, 3.59, so about five seconds now between one and two. And then another five seconds between two and three, so Marcus is sitting in third. So, Finley Bennett. Way out in front now. And a really good strong swim here, right from the outset by Finley Bennett, the Rutherland swimmer, and he's still looking as if he's got something in the tank towards the finish. Also finishing strongly over in six, Jake Ferguson. He might have just made up a little bit of ground over that freestyle, but there's too much ground to make up, too much water to make up. Finley Ben is going to take this entry of 506.80. Oh, just outside, 507.01, still a very good swim there. And it's 510.15 and over in lane six. That's a great improvement there from Jake Ferguson. And third place, Marcus Blake, 518.57. I think that puts, yeah, I think that puts Jake Ferguson into the snag qualification if that time is confirmed. Snag qualification is Move on to event 402, uh, 11 to 18 female, 100 metre butterfly. We have four heats, and this is heat one in the pool. Lane one, Taylor Laidlaw, Dumfries. Two, Kayla Smith, City of Glasgow. Three, Thea Glenn, City of Glasgow. Four, Anna Lee, Sterling Swimming. Five, Emily Taylor, Lanark. And six, Emma Imry, South Ayrshire. Oh, that's the turn. Lane 4, 34-27 for the Sterling Swimming, Anna Lee. And we have two girls who have consideration times for snags and one with a qualifying time already, Kayla Smith. So our youngest, one of our youngest, two youngest swimmers have consideration times. So they'll be looking to improve on those this afternoon. So 
pretty tight. Lanes two, three, four, and five. Two, three, and four really coming through. It's all going to be down to the touch. Lane four got that, 113.18. So the win goes to Anna Lee, followed by Kayla Smith, 114.18. And Thea Glenn, 114.19. In comes our South Ayrshire swimmer, Emma Imri, one of our para swimmers. That's quite a heavy program over the weekend, and she finishes there, completing heat one. Seat two, lane one, Molly Evan Watson, Dumfries, two, Anna Campbell, City of Glasgow, three, Phoebe Murder, South Ayrshire, four, Isla Dobson, City of Glasgow, five, Charlotte Craig, Ren 96, six, Kaylin Chan, Ren 96. Quickest on paper, Phoebe Murder, 112.3. Looks like lane two ahead at the moment, Anna Campbell. Or possible lane five, Charlotte Craig. And it is lane two, Anna Campbell, 33.09, quickest to the turn. And it's really close though, uh, point three hundreds between two and five, Anna Campbell, Charlotte Craig. Looks like it may be Phoebe Murdoch sitting in third place just now. Over in lane three. But a strong second half here. Charlotte Craig, so Red 96 swimmer in lane five, looking good here. Entry time of 112.99, 13 years old. This is a really good swim here, 110.39. She comes in, huge improvement. Second place, 111.40 for Anna Campbell. And third, Phoebe Murder, 113.57. Move on to Heat 3, Lane 1, Emily Dickens, City of Glasgow. 2, Millie Colvin, Dumfries. 3, Leah Rafferty, Western Bartonshire. 4, Amy Rowell, City of Glasgow. 5, Amber Hinton, Dumfries. And 6, Abby McMillan, City of Glasgow. So on the basis of entry times, we have three girls have already qualified. Two with consideration times and one chasing times four snags at the halfway mark it is lane four Amy Rowell City of Glasgow followed in by Emily Dickens her teammate and Millie Colvin Dumfries in third place but it is Amber Hinton over there in lane five looks like she now has the advantage coming out of that turn and is building on that as she heads towards the finish Certainly moving ahead of Amy Rowell now. Amy will set, have, take second in behind Amber Hinton with a battle for third. But third goes to lane one. That's Emily Dickens. So the finish time's there for Amber, 108.59, 110.65 for Amy Rowell. And Emily Dickens finishing a time of 112.00. We'll wait for these results to be confirmed.
our officials are just uh, confirming the results for that heat, heat number three. There we go, the results confirmed, so we'll move on to heat four. Their fourth and final heat of this event. Lane one, Abigail Crawford, City of Glasgow. Two, Caitlin Frame, Grangemouth. Three, Kirsty Gilmore, Hamilton. Four, Rosie Liston, City of Glasgow. Five, Perry Scobie, Sterling Swim. Six, Zoe Crawford, Falkirk. And not too much to talk about in terms of snags here because all swimmers have qualified already. So they'll be using this to get a good swim in, possibly head, or try and head for a PB. Perry Scobie looking good over the first 50, 31.01. She's in the lead at the moment. Abigail Crawford in second. So Perry Scobie, very strong, but out very fast there. So let's see if she can hold on to this. Abigail Crawford still going well, but now being challenged by Kirsty Gilmore. Also Caitlin Frame. But Perry Scobie. We'll now look a bullet at the start and she's held that pace. Entry time of 108.5, she's going to smash that. 107.65 for Perry Scobie. Abigail Crawford, 109.57. And Kirsty Gilmore, And this is event 403, boys 100 meter butterfly. And this is heat one of four. Lane one, Callan Chesser, City of Glasgow. Two, Scott Watson, East Kilbride. Three, Max Miller, Western Bartonshire. Four, Andrew Patterson, City of Glasgow. Five, Yasin Hatab, Dumfries. And six, Jack Kivlahan, we're in 96. Patterson already has a qualifying time, as does Yasin Hatab. Jack Kivlihan has a consideration time, so the boys have turned and are heading to the finish line, and it's lane four, Andrew Patterson, who was the 1500 metres earlier today, moving himself through the water really well building on his lead as he comes into the closing stages and touches the finish line there in a time of 108.97. That's an improvement on his entry time of around three seconds. Max Miller finishes in second place, 111.79, and Scott Watson in third, 114.04. And off we go with heat two. In lane one, Brody Leiden from City of Glasgow. No swimmer in two. Lane three, Callum Trainer, Sterling Swim. No swimmer in four. Five, Rudy Keegan Ward, City of Glasgow. And six, Finlay Hiddleston from Dumfries. Pretty close over the first half of this. Brody Leiden, 30.88. Slender leads over Callum Trainer. And right with Callum is Rudy Keegan Ward. So 
So we'll see how this pans out over the back end. Looks like Brody Lydon, maybe about body length up now. So 14 year old from City of Glasgow, already qualified for Snags. Looking good here. 109.08 is his entry. So Brody Lydon is going to come well under that time. 106.56 for Brody Lydon. And then second, Rory Keegan Ward, 109.00. And Callum Sheeran, third, 109.03. So this is Heat 3, Lane 1, Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow. Teammate Kyle Mossman in Lane 2, and their teammate James Gillis in Lane 3. Aaron Steele, East Kilbride, Lane 4. Cole Morrison, Sterling Swimming, Lane 5. And Lane 6, Samuel Beatham, Boness. So Kyle Mossman has a qualifying time for the 15-year-old age group at Snags for this. He'll be looking to improve on that. James Gillis, he's hunting down a qualifying time. At the moment, he's 0.35 seconds off of that. Let's see what he can do in this evening's session. And it is lane three, James Gillis, who is leading the field with just about 20 metres left to go. Keep an eye on the clock for James. He's looking for a time of 104.65. And he's got his qualifying time for snags. In behind him, lane four, Aaron Steele, East Kilbride, 104.25. And Jude Malbury, City of Glasgow, 106.54 in third place. And he's got himself a consideration time. Is in for snag. And we're off with our final heat. In lane one, Ben Montgomery, Sterling Swim. Two, Tom Jeffords, Ren 96. Three, his teammate Adam Scott. Four, Ewan Watson, Renfrew Bass. No swimmer in five. Six, Tyler Stewart, East Kilbride. Well, Adam Scott already qualified safely. His entry of 58.50. And it's as Adam just a fraction ahead, 28.54 over the first half. And second, just at the turn there, Tom Jeffords, 16 year old from Ren 96. Again, Tom safely secured his snags time already. And looks as if the third place at the moment is going to Ewan Watson. We'll see if that changes at all. But it looks like it will be Adam Scott who takes it, just about. The finish he does 101.44 for Adam Scott Tom Jeffords 101.55 so that's a good half a second improvement third Ewan Watson 102.20 and get an improvement on entry and that concludes the boys 100 metre butterfly now we move on to the girls 200 metre freestyle and there will be four heats in that event So this is event 404, the 11 to 18 female 200 meter freestyle, heat one, lane one, 
Cara Broadley, Sterling Swimming, two, Ailey Laidlaw, Dumfries, three, Susanna Curran, Kilmarnock, four, Chloe Semple, Rutherglen, five, Emma Patterson, City of Glasgow, and six, Taya Laidlaw, Dumfries. So as the girls head down towards the first turn, this 200 meter freestyle, it is lane three leading 31.99. So Susanna Curran in behind her, Emma Patterson and Chloe Semple in third after the first 50 metres. And Susanna continues to lead. Coming down to the halfway mark, it's lane five, Emma Patterson in second place. I think the third place advantage goes with lane two, Ailey Laidlaw, John Free Swimmer into the halfway, Susanna Curran, 107.24. Emma Patterson, 111.61. Ailey Laidlaw, 112.25. Good turn there for the dumb free swimmer. She's got herself up on par with Emma Patterson. As the girls are in the second half of this 200 meter freestyle. It is Susanna Curran led from the start continues to do so going into the final turn it's all about what's happening in behind her so Susanna turns for the final time 144.60 lane 5 149.68 Emma Patterson and then Ailey Laidlaw in behind her 149.88 really nothing to split those two girls so all to fight for for second place certainly but Susanna has this race well and truly sewn up she will not be caught now as we come into the final 10 meters of her 200 IM battle going on for second it looks like the advantage is currently with the city of Glasgow summer but watch the Dumfries summer coming in this is all about the touch and she got it second place goes to Ailey Laidlaw ahead of Emma Patterson, but our winner, Susanna Curran, 221.98. Ailey Laidlaw, 225.88. And Emma Patterson, Heat two, lane one, Addison Cole, Hamilton. Two, Sophie Steele, South Ayrshire. Three, Hannah Lindsay, Hamilton. Four, Zuzia Smith, Grangemouth. Five, Emma Miller, Kintyre. And six, Imogen Barrett, Ren 96. Very close on paper here. 220.1 through to 221.75. Good start in lane two. Sophie Steele. And she's turned first, 31.22, but half a second up on Emma Miller, 31.76. So these swimmers will be chasing their times, quite a few of them are. For the 16-year-old age category, the consideration time is 2.21.26. For the 17-18, it's 2.20.18. Her leader at the moment, Sophie Steele, 2.20.9, so she's, she has to improve by a bit 0.7 or so and she's giving this a right good go halfway 105.74 Sophie Steele second Emma Miller still 108.12 but just a fraction behind Emma is Hannah Lindsay 108.20 Sophie Steele's really taking this one on right from the outset and she's still looking strong at the moment so it is Sophie out in front, and then it is between Hannah and Emma for second. We'll see if Zuzia Smith can do anything as well in lane four. Into the final turn, Sophie Steele, 142.10. And she's a bit over three seconds, three and a half seconds up now. On second place, Hannah Lindsay. So keep your eye on the clock here. Sophie Steele will be 
going for that consideration time 220.18 the qualification is 216.10 uh, so a strong swim here uh, she's at 2 cents 210 at the moment let's see if she can get that time it looks like she will get, at least get the consideration and Sophie still gets it 217.78 great swim there and a safe consideration time for Snags second place 222.17 Hannah Lindsay, third place, 223.49, and that goes to Zuzia Smith. And we move on to Heat 3, Lane 1, Anna Campbell, City of Glasgow. 2, Ava Ross, City of Glasgow. 3, Kirsty Gilmore, Hamilton Baths. Empty Lane 4. 5, Katie Towers, Lanark. And 6, Lisa McNair from Sterling Swimming. So the only one in the water at the moment with a qualifying time is the 15-year-old from City of Glasgow, Ava Ross. Everyone else has consideration times for snags and will be looking for to improve on those before the entries go in in the middle of this coming week and at the hop at the first 50 meters it's lane two Ava Ross followed by Kirsty Gilmore and Ava continues the lead as they come down to the halfway mark lanes three five and six well, we're pretty much in a line, but lane six is beginning to move forward now. Lisa McNair from Sterling Swimming, but it is Ava Ross turning 107.18. Lisa McNair, 108.63. And lane three is Kirsty Gilmore, 109.23 at the halfway mark. So Ava has taken this on right from the beginning. And can look, continues to lead. Lisa McNair over in lane six, still in second place. Looks like Katie Towers may well now have third place. Keep an eye on the scoreboard at the turn at the far end. As Ava turns 143.16, Lisa 144.92. And it is now lane five, Katie Towers in third place for 146 at the turn. Ava's very comfortable out there in the lead. Whether or not Katie can do anything to get herself up into second place. She's currently looking to try and get herself up alongside Lisa over there in lane five. And she's past Lisa now. So she's, she's going to run out of water, however, to catch Ava. But it will be Ava Ross, Katie Towers, Lisa McNair, your one, two and three in heat three of event 404. Finishing time there, 2.17.89. Katie's finishing time, 2.19.73. And Lisa finishes in a time of 2.21.15. So fourth and final heat, lane one, Lucy Hunter, Hamilton, two, Zoe Crawford, Falker. And next four lanes are all City of Glasgow, Safina Machen in three, Olivia Caldwell four, Ella Cunningham five, Daisy Gildea in six. So we have five out of the six swimmers already obtained the qualification time for snags. And the other one, Zoe Crawford, has a consideration, she's a fraction outside qualification. She has to gain 0.1 of a second on her entry for that. A very secure consideration for Zoe. So over the first 50 there, it is Sabrina Machen in the lead. So Sabrina, quickest on paper, 213.2. And 
she's about half a body length up at the moment and the other swimmers a few swimmers in the line outside her Olivia Ella Daisy so 105.69 from Safina Machen over the first hundred in second place just now Olivia Caldwell third Daisy Goldia. So, see these blue caps all the way from three to six, City of Glasgow. I'm sure these girls will know each other well. And Lucy Hunter and Hamilton, Zoe Crawford, Falkirk, and one and two. The final turn is still Sabrina Machen, 141.18. Still a half a second up now on Olivia Caldwell. So, we'll see if Olivia can make up any ground in the final length or if Safina will hold it off it's still Safina Machen so Safina Machen, Olivia Caldwell and out in lane 6 Daisy Goldia but coming through as well in 1 Lucy Hunter can she split the Glasgow 4 or will it be a Glasgow 1, 2, 3 4 Safina Machen 2, 15, 90 the winning time there Second place, Olivia Caldwell, 216.93. Third, Daisy Goldia, And this is event 405, the 11 to 18 year old male 200 meter freestyle. We have four heats of this this evening. In session four, this is heat one, empty lane one, two, Kaylin Cardi, Sterling Swimming, two, sorry, three, Brody Lydon, City of Glasgow, four, Samuel Ruff, City of Glasgow, five, Bjorn Ayn, Hamilton Bats, and six, Yasin Hatab, Dumfries. And at the first turn, it is lane three, Brody Lydon, 32.45, followed by Samuel Ruff and Bjorn Ayn. You're we one, two, and three after the first 50 metres. So lane three, Brody Lydon, we've seen him in action over the weekend. I don't think he's too long out of the pool, to be honest. But he will lead the field into the halfway mark with his teammate Samuel Ruff in second and the Hamilton Bath swimmer Bjorn in in third. So we certainly have talked about snags. All the boys will be looking for times, improve their times for the for snags in two and a half weeks time up in Aberdeen and into the final turn and it is lane three, Brodie Lydon 14 year old from City of Glasgow led from the start turned and he will lead the field home it's all about what happens in behind him his teammate Samuel Ruff looks like he is up certainly has the advantage for second place with a battle going on in lanes five and six for third whether or not either of those boys can do anything about our second place summer but there's no doubt who's going to win this and it is city of glasgow Brody leiden 21507 followed in by his teammate samuel ruff 220 34 and third place goes to lane six Yasin Hatab from Dumfries in a time of 
to seat two, lane one, Ali Hatab, Dumfries, no swimmer in two, three, Robbie Carlisle, from Hamilton Baths, four, Cole Murphy, City of Glasgow, five, Cooper Sloss, Ren 96, six, Dean Binney, from Inverclyde. So we have Robert Carlisle, 18 year old, and the rest of 15. Quickest on paper is Robbie, 209.91. So Robbie just a fraction ahead at the moment, 30.35. The first 50. So these boys will be chasing qualification time, the 15 year olds that is. Um, the qualification is 2 11 10. They've all already got a consideration. Well, two of them don't actually. 2 15 90, 2 17 20 for Ali and Dean. So they'll be going for the consideration time. But it is Robbie in the lead, 104 16. After 100 metres. Second place, lane four, Cole Murphy. So, Cole's entry is 2.12.00. So, less than a second outside the snags qualification, but he's got a safe consideration just now. And Cole is drawing up now on Robbie. And Cole Murphy looking very strong over this third 50 metres. And now he's drawn level. So it's Cole Murphy, Robbie Carlyle turning together, and it is Cole Murphy with his nose in front now, 139.85. So Cole Murphy, just with a slender lead, going into the final stretch. Back in third, it's very close between the rest of the swimmers. All three of them are going to neck and neck. But it's been a strong back end from Cole Murphy. So Cole's entry, 2.12.00. We'll see if we can challenge that time. Just a wee bit outside. Got a strong swim there, 2.14.05. Cole Murphy, second, right, right at the touch there. In lane three, Robbie Carlisle and Ali Hatab, 2.17.66 over Robbie Carlisle, who was second, 2.17.38. On to Heat 3, Lane 1, Jake Ferguson, Grangemouth 2, Ben Montgomery, Sterling Swimming, Empty Lanes 3 and 4, 5, Harry Keogh, Ren 96, and 6, Jamie Gilchrist, East Kilbride. So into the first turn is Lane 5, Harry Keogh, 28.49, followed by Jake Ferguson, followed by Ben Montgomery. After the first 50 metres, that's your one, two, and three. Lots of encouragement going to can be heard for our swimmers coming from their colleagues' poolside. But it is the Wren 96 swimmer who will lead the field in to the halfway mark ahead of Jake Ferguson. They're in the distinctive yellow cap of Grangemouth followed by Ben Montgomery. So, still Harry Keogh. Jake Ferguson. Coming up, moving through the water. Well, Jamie Gilchrist there in lane six. I think he's probably got himself on par with Ben Montgomery now. So, battle between those two for third place. As our leader, Harry Keogh, turns and heads for home. In behind him, Jake Ferguson. Can Jake do anything in this final length? Just about 25 metres to go to close the gap between him and our leader from the start. Jamie Gilchrist, I think, has the advantage now over Ben Montgomery as our leader from the start, Harry Keogh, comes in to finish his race in a time of 2.06.35, followed by 
Jake Ferguson, 209.65. And third place goes to late two, Ben Montgomery, 214.09. Resisted that challenge in the latter stages of the race there. our fourth and final heat three swimmers in this one lane three Logan van der Moulin still in swim four Alfie Churchy City of Glasgow five Nikolai Sisnit City of Glasgow so Logan van der Moulin is the only sub two minute swimmer here 159.90 so that's a qualification already for Scottish Nationals Alfie has a consideration um, Nikolai safe qualification as a 14 year old so 27-11 there passes time over the first 50 Logan van der Moulin 3 at the moment Molly Irvin Watson the free swimmer she is the quickest on entry just by a fraction 37.5 and that goes through to 38.1 Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm announcing the wrong swimmers. This is heat two. And the winner there was Iona Henderson. 38.64 over Rebecca Strachan. And third place was Ada Broden. So this is heat three, lane one, Victoria Grabowska, two, Hannah Lindsay, three, Molly Irvin Watson, four, Kaylin Chan, five, Neve Quinn, and six, Cara Gumbrell. Really much in a line at the moment, but I think it might be the Kintyre swimmer over there in lane five, who has the lead. Watch the Western Bartonshire swimmer in lane one, however. She's moving through the water really well, but I think Neve will take this. And indeed she does. 37.44 ahead of Victoria Grabowska in a time of 38.60. And third place goes to Kaylin Chan in a time of 39.54. Okay, this is heat four, lane one, Ava Ross, City of Glasgow, two, Ella Cunningham, City of Glasgow, three, Perry Scobie, Sterling Swim, four, Katie Towers, Lanark, five, Millie Colvin, Dumfries, six, Kimberly Willis, Wren, 96. Perry Scobie, quickest by some way on paper, 33.69, in lane three, and she is well ahead of the rest, so we'll be a battle for second place here. Possibly swimmer outside her, Katie Towers. Perry Scobie takes that time of 34.23. Katie Towers, 36.73. And third, Ava Ross, 37.7.
event 407 the male 15 to 18 50 meter breaststroke this is heat one of four lane two oliver mansell lane three brandon wong and there is an empty lane four so it's brandon wong from renfu baths who has taken the early lead ahead of oliver mansell both 15 years of age and it looks like it will be our one two will be brandon wong and oliver mansell as brandon goes in and completes his race followed by oliver 36.95 for our first for brandon and 37.93 for oliver so they'll both be pleased that's an improvement on their entry times This is heat two, lane one, Jacob Taylor, two, Kieran Brown, three, Daniel Faulkner, four, Nathan Finlay, and five, Joe Jamieson. Good start in two, Kieran Brown. He's just a fraction ahead of the others just now. Quickest entry, 35-9, it's Daniel Faulkner. Right, coming through now in lane one, Jacob Taylor. And also lane two, Kieran Brown. And I think Kieran might just take this one. He does. 35-87. Jacob Taylor, 36-50. And in third, Daniel Faulkner, 36-93. And we move on to heat three, lane one, Cole Morrison, two, Craig Hartley, three, Guy Pelosi, four, Harry Keogh, five, Cameron Mather, and six, Samuel Beethan. Really tight, but I think it looks like Cameron Mayer, 15-year-old from Inverclyde, may well have the advantage here as they go into the final 15 meters of this race. No, I think he's maybe lost the advantage to lane four, Harry Keogh, and it is lane four that took that, 34.96, ahead of Cameron Mayer at 35.45, and Samuel Beethan in third place, 35.58. This is our final heat, heat four. One, Tyler Stewart. Two, Finlay Bennett. Three, Robbie Carlisle. Four, Frazen van der Moulin. And no swimmer in five. Six, Eklavia Singh. Lane three, Robbie Carlisle. 18 year old, quickest on paper. And he is in the lead at the moment. Uh, not too far ahead of Fraser van der Moulin. It looks like Robbie Carlisle will take this one. Entry time of 31.58. And it's a 32.63 from Robbie. Frieza van der Moulin, 32.93. And Eklavia Singh, 33.65. Now we move on to the girls' 1500 metres freestyle.
So this is event 408, the 11 to 18 year old female, 1500 meter freestyle. And we have two heats of this event this evening. Lynn, this is heat one, lane one, Alicia Thompson, Combinol. Two, Rebecca Strachan, City of Glasgow. Her teammate, Lula Milne, goes in lane three. Four, Lucy McKenna, Cumbernauld. Five, Eva Gordon, City of Glasgow. And six, Paige Bennett, Cumbernauld. So during the course of this, these two heats, we'll try and give you some of the results from the earlier events. Just waiting for those to be passed over to us. You will find them, of course, swimmers across the venue. I do have 407, but I think I'll wait and see if we can maybe do it in a little bit of order for you. So let's have a look back into the pool. And it's after the first 50 meters coming down to complete 100. It is lane three. Lula Milne that is leading the field in. Coming in very closely behind her is as teammate Eva Gordon, however. Lula Milne, 117.15. 117.63 for Eva Gordon and in third place is lane one Cumbernauld swimmer Alicia Thompson Going up to the turn, 150 meters. And still, it is lane five taken. Wait, lane six, I beg your pardon. No, that's not right. Just go back and look at the ball. It's lane five, Lula Milne, Eva Gordon, I beg your pardon, who now has advantage over her teammate, Lula Milne. So there, one and two. In third place is still Cumbernauld's Alicia Thompson. The girls come down to the turn after 200 metres. It will be 13-year-old from City of Glasgow turning first, 239.75. Lula Milne in behind her and Alicia Thompson are still your one, two and three. In this heat one of the 1500 meter freestyle. Staying in touch, however, City of Glasgow's Rebecca Strachan. We've seen her come through the field at late stages in a race. So let's just keep an eye on what Rebecca can do. She's her two teammates ahead of her and the common old swimmer at the moment. Going into the turn there, Eva Gordon, 3.20.68. She's just got around a two-second lead from her teammate, Lula Milne. And you see a Thompson five seconds behind, but there's less than a second between her and the city of Glasgow's Rebecca Strachan for third place. So we'll look at the pacing here, see what uh, what's happening. So we're sitting at around 82 seconds. Finish time estimated at this early stage of around 20.33 or so. So I do have some results, so I'll do a few of those. So event 401, the boys 400 meters IM, 11 to 13 year olds. First place, Oren McLeod, Grangemouth. Second, Jack Handley, Ren 96. 14-year-olds, first, Stephens Nastiuk, Stran Ra, second, Alexandru Vasilios, Cumbernauld, third, Connor McNaught, Grangemouth, 15-year-old boys, first place, Finlay Bennett, Rutherglen, second, Jay McKinnon, Western Bartonshire, third, Cooper Sloss, Wren 96, 16-year-old boys, just first place, Jake Ferguson, Grangemouth, 17-year-old boys, 17 to 18, I beg your pardon, first place, Marcus Blake, City of Glasgow, Second, Gregor Skinner, Boness. Let's have a look back in the pool and see what's happening. And it is still lane five leading ahead of lane three. So Eva Gordon ahead of Lula Milne. 
And Eva has stretched out her lead. Now, moving up into third place ahead of the Cumberland Old Swimmer is now Rebecca Strachan. Also, City of Glasgow. So City of Glasgow, one, two, and three. As we go into the turn after 400 metres, we'll have a look at the pacing for the last 100. As Eva turns 5.24.90. So it's just a pretty even pace sitting around 82 for the last 100 as it was for the previous 100. It is City of Glasgow, one, two, and three. Alicia Thompson turning in fourth place there. Paige Bennett turns. So we have three 13 year olds in this, so four in fact. Um, Lula Milne, Lucy McKenna, Eva Gordon, Paige Bennett, all falling, looking for times within the 11 to 13 year old times for snags. Alicia Thompson and Rebecca Strachan both fall into their own age groups. So, Eva Gordon. A good 10 meters lead from her teammate. Lula Milne, Rebecca Strachan, firmly in third place ahead of Alicia Thompson. So Eva's uh, entry time here, 20.33, 20, 20. Turning there at 6.47.79. So again, pretty steady pace, maybe just a little bit slower. About half a second, really not much in it. Impacts on the finish, the estimated finish time, however, 20.36 at the moment. And I'm sure we'll see an improvement on that as the race progresses. So I'll move over to, hand over to Stuart. Thanks, Jackie. Eva Gordon leaving the rest behind at the moment. This first third of the race, 13 year old from City Glasgow. Looks like she's pacing to round about her entry time at the moment. 20, point, uh, 20 minutes 33. So that is a safe consideration. 20.23.6 is the qualification time for the 11 to 13s. Second spot just now, the other 13 year old Lula Milne, who's already qualified. She's uh, got a time of 19.58. Eva Gordon turns there in 8, 10, 27, after 600 meters. Roughly the same pace as before, so around about 82, 82 and a half seconds. And that's a gap of about 15 seconds now between Eva and Lula and it's the other city of Glasgow summer Rebecca Strachan 16 year old sitting in third place and in fourth in lane one Alicia Thompson Cumberland Old so we've got three blue caps followed by three yellow ones Lane four here. Lucy McKenna, Cumbernauld swimmer, 13 year old. Going to this uh, reserve swimmer, managing to get a swim this evening. So Eva Gordon, 932, 72. We'll see what that does to the pace. Again, very, very steady. Around about 82 seconds and, and then 0.4. And that's been the same for, well, really since the start. So, currently looking to come in around about 20 minutes and 32 seconds. 
entries 20 minutes 33 so just swimming a fraction quicker than the ent entry time an awful long way to go still in second place Lula Mellon keep an eye on the clock in terms of both the pacing and the distance between the swimmers as they approach the 800 metre mark well, three City of Glasgow followed by three Cumbernauld so Eva Gordon at 800 metres one, sorry, not 155, 10, 55, 22. Again, still pacing around about 82 and a half, so incredibly steady. So, she came in at 10, 55, 11, 18, so, yeah, about 23 seconds now between first and second. Eva Gordon, Lula Mount. And then another 14 seconds uh, between Lula and Rebecca. So a long a long journey, a 1500 meter freestyle. Certainly, Eva Gordon's keeping her focus here. And she's in a good rhythm, so it's whether she can up that pace a little bit. Or whether she's content just coming there and thereabouts entry and maybe just coming a little fraction underneath for that. Snags qualification. Is it's looking like a challenge just now. That would be a 20.02. Sorry, sorry, that's nonsense. That would be a 20.23. At the moment, it's pacing around about 20.32, so maybe about nine, eight or nine seconds outside. But stranger things have happened. So we're still pacing about 82 seconds per lap, or per 100. So a lot of your swimmers do take part in this event. It's right endurance event, 1500, both the 8 and 1500. Sometimes it's become a bit of a speciality for, for some of these swimmers. But Eva Gordon certainly looks strong here. As she comes to 1,000 metres, time of 13.41 and 26. She's just slowed up a touch there, so... Looking around about 83 and a half seconds now, so just slowed about a second in that previous hundred. So as we move into the final third, I'll pass back over to Jackie. So thank you, Stuart. Eva Gordon certainly looks very strong out there in front. Opened up a huge gap. Now she's going to turn 14.22.01 with nine lengths to go, 450 metres to go. So her teammate Lula Milne, who is in behind her. But as we can see, Eva Gordon's more than two thirds of a length ahead of Lula Milne, who will turn now, 14.56.03. Just have a look at the pace 
for Eva as she comes into the turn at 1100 meters. 1503.81 at the turn. Yeah, she's, uh, she had dropped a little bit in the previous hundred, but she's picked that back up again. We're back at just about 82 and a half seconds over the last 100. So slight improvement in pace for her. As Lula comes into turn at 1100 meters. I think we'll see that uh, Lula turns almost as Eva does at the far end. Lula turning there in 15.39.29. So there's a 36 second gap between the first and second place. Eva Gordon has turned. She has 350 meters still to go of this 1500 meter race. As Stuart was saying, it's, uh, it's definitely it's an endurance race. Some of these girls will be specialists in this distance. Or aiming to make themselves specialists. Perhaps with an eye on some of the open water events coming up this summer. I think we start kick off with the East District Open Water event at the beginning of June. I think I'm correct in saying, and I know I'll be shot down because Robert's over there that um, the West District one is uh, in late July of this year. All details of open water events can be found on the Scottish Swimming website. So the pacing, oh, just still around the 82 nearly, but just, just a little bit slower there. Just under the 83 now for the last 100 for Eva. The arms and legs will be getting tired now. These girls have got to dig deep keep them going so there we go far and Eva Gordon turns 1707.34 for her almost at the same time as Lula Milne turns 170 some 50 meters behind her So Eva's coming into 1,300 meters. So Lula will turn 250 meters to go. The far end there, 1749.81 for Eva at the 1,300 meters. So she's uh, slowing. 83 at that last hundred as a split. Looking at an estimated finish time of 20.35.99 for her. So a little bit outside her entry time, but uh, that bail always rejuvenates our swimmers, and she will hear that first. So she'll turn at the far end, Eva Gordon, and when she comes up. To the dive block she will hear the bell and know that she'll have 100 meters still to go lula milne in second place they're in lane three rebecca strachan in third so rebecca's about to turn with 200 meters still to go and here comes our leader eva gordon led from the very early stages of this 1500 meters this evening and continues to do so. She will hear the bell just shortly. There we go. Two lengths still to go. What can she do to improve on her entry time? 1911.61 there at the turn. She has picked up the pace. It's now dropped to 81.8 over the last 100 meters. So she's dropped at about a second and a half over the last 100. Let's see what she can do now as she goes up to the final turn. She's coming down to hear the bell is her teammate Lula Milne. And in behind her will be her teammate Rebecca Strachan. Lula comes in. And hear the bell. There we go. That's the bell for Lula. As at the other end, Rebecca. Eva Gordon turns for the final turn and heads for home. Keep an eye on the clock. 
see what she can do against her entry time. Already qualified for snags, so she'll be looking at them to improve the time. We're all hearing the bells now. So that's Rebecca Strachan turns two lengths to go. As in comes our leader, Eva Gordon, and she finishes in a time of 20, 30, 37. So she'll be pleased with that. That's uh, just about a three second improvement on her entry time when she had already qualified for snags. So here comes her teammate, Lula Milne. Lula entered on a time of 19.58.14. Again, already qualified for snags. Can she, she's not going to improve on that time this evening, but will firmly secure herself second place in this 1500 meters. Rebecca Strack turned and she's heading for home. So hearing the bell now is Paige Bennett in lane six. Combin Old Swimmer, two lengths left to go. As in comes to complete her race today, Rebecca Strachan, in a time of 21.44.85. Alicia Thompson comes in fourth. Finishing there in a time of 21.52.28. Lucy McKenna, here's the bell. Two lengths to go. Here's some encouragement for these two girls, both from Cumbernauld. Lucy Wars came in, came in this afternoon and this evening rather as the reserve. Well done on waiting on Lucy, given you got you got the opportunity to swim this 1500 meters. Lane six is Paige Bennett has turned for the final time and is heading for the finish line. Lucy McKenna turns, she's just got 50 meters left to go. As in comes Paige Bennett, finishing in fifth place. Significant improvement on a Paige Bennett's um, entry time, 23.02.07 as a finish time against an entry time of 23.27.30. Sure, she'll be have a big smile on her face when she when that sinks in for her. As in comes Lucy McKenna, finishing in a, in a time of 23.38 against an entry time of 23.44.80. So another improvement on her entry time. This is our second and final heat of the girls' 1500 meters freestyle. Lane one, Abby McMillan, City of Glasgow. Two, Lisa McNair, Stirling Swim. Three, Honor McCarty, City of Glasgow. Four, Rebecca Somerville, Ren 96. Six, Sarah McGuffey, City of Glasgow. Seven, sorry, five, Sarah McGuffey, <laughs> City of Glasgow. Six, Emma Benny of Inverclyde. Times range here from 1929.50 through to 1950.83. So, Abby, Lisa, Honor, Sarah, all qualified already for Scottish Nationals. Emma has a consideration. Rebecca just chasing that time. She needs to drop about seven seconds 
to get a consideration for Snags. A good start over in lane six, Emma Binney. 109.82 after 100. So she's really taking this one on. She's the swimmer on a consideration time, 19.50. And to qualify outright, she'd have to get down to 19.05. So that's, that's quite a drop there. So maybe she's given this one a go to get down to that time. And she's really taking it out fast. It's fairly even between lanes two and three and four behind. It's lane three in second at the moment. Anna McCarty, 14-year-old from City of Glasgow. So while well, these girls are swimming, a few more results. 400 IM, 17-18 for boys. Sorry, girls now. Girls 100 Butterfly. First, Charlotte Craig. Second, Emily Taylor. Third, Taylor Laidlaw. 14-year-olds. First, Amber Hinton. Second, Amy Rowell. Third, Kayla Smith. 15-year-olds, first Abigail Crawford, second Anna Campbell, third Abby McMillan. 16-year-olds, first Millie Colvin, second Anna Lee, third Caitlin Chan. And 17-year-olds, first Perry Scobie, second Kirsty Gilmore. So 224.61 after the 200. She's really taking this one on here. Split there of 74 seconds. So, on the current pacing, we're talking about 18.36, 18 18.37, given that our entry time is 19.50, so he's certainly not hanging about here. Well, Emma, 15-year-old from Ember Clyde. Some more results. Girls, 100 Butterfly, 17 to 18. Third, Zoe Crawford. Second, Caitlin Frame. First, Emily Dickens. Boys, 11 to 13. Butterfly. Third, Jack Kilevhan. Second, Carolyn Chesser. First, Yasin Hatab. 14 year olds. Third, Scott Watson. Second, Andrew Patterson. First, Brody Lydon. And after 300 metres, it is time of 3.41.12. Let's see how that pacing's going. She's dropped to about 76. To be expected that she would drop off the pace a little bit because she went out very hard. But still looking as if she'll get a very good time on the current pacing. Just under 19 minutes. So again, that qualification uh, for the 15-year-olds. 19 Five. And now a little bit of a lead over the rest in second in lane four Rebecca Somerville so Rebecca is an 18 year old from Ren 96 on an entry of 1930 So coming up to the 400 meter mark. Let's see how Emma's doing here. She's broke the five minutes, 4.58.77. Just dropping off that pace another second, about 77 and a half second pacing now. And I think Rebecca is making up some ground here on Emma. So Rebecca's a lot steadier on the first two or three hundred meters and she's starting to build. So Emma Benny, Rebecca Somerville and Anna McCarty are the one, two, three at 4.50. Some other results for the boys 15 year old 100 fly. 
first Kyle Mossman, second Rory Keegan Ward, then third Finn Hiddleston, and 16 year old fly, first Tom Jefford, second Ian Watson, third James Gillis, and 17 to 18 year olds, first Adam Scott, second Ben Montgomery, third Aaron Steele. And with a third of the race gone, still Emma Binney in front, and that gap is closing. 6.16.60. She is pacing more steadily now, around about 77, 78 seconds. Now with Rebecca Somerville just beginning to close that water behind her. And with the first third done, I'll pass over to Jackie. Now, coming up to the turn for 6,600 metres, there is still the Inverclyde swimmer, Emma Binney, ahead of Rebecca Somerville from Wren 96. Rebecca will be looking to get herself a time for snags as well. Emma looking to get herself a qualification time. Emma's still ahead at 700 metres, sorry, no, 600 metres, I beg your pardon, a time of 7.35.14, but the gap is closing between her and Rebecca's really eating into the, the lead that Emma had now, so Rebecca Somerville up in second, and it is lane three, on a McCarty, City of Glasgow, in third place. So McNair in fourth, Sarah McGuffey in fifth. Sarah, as Stuart said, already has a qualifying time. One of our younger swimmers, in the fact, the youngest in the um, this heat, only 13 years of age. Emma Binney, but I think Rebecca Somerville looks like she's gaining the advantage now. All about swimming your own race, however. Emma went out really well at the start. She has been overtaken now by lane four's Rebecca Somerville. And Rebecca turns 8.52.54. She has just about a second and a half advantage over Emma Binney now. And we're into the second third of this race. The pace picked up a little bit. We were around um, 78, 79, dropped to uh, 77 and a half, with an estimated finish time of 19.11.74. So if Emma can just keep herself in touch with Rebecca. There's lane three, Anna McCarty in third place. Turned now in third, in behind her. All turning almost simultaneously there, lanes five and two, 9.48, 9.49, 21. Nothing really to split those two girls. As Rebecca Somerville has now firmly got herself in front of the field. She'll turn now, doing so 10.08.40. Emma's going to turn second, 10, 13, 61. So the gap is widening. Third place, 10, 18, 78. So we're looking at a five second gap between second and third. Rebecca will be uh, 
looking to improve significantly on her entry time. She's looking for a time of 9.22 to get a consideration time for snags. Certainly at the moment, looks like she will achieve that, where we have an estimated finish time of 18.59.42. Emma Binney still in second place there over in lane six. Anna McCarty in third. All our top three all in different age groups for snags qualifications. And Rebecca Somerville turns there 11 24 30. So 900 meters completed. Let's have a look at the pacing. It was around 75, it still is. Pretty steady at the moment. Emma turns 11.33.64. Anna McCarty, 11.36. She's closing the gap between herself and Emma Binney. Both girls have got a lot of work to do to catch our leader, Rebecca Somerville. But stranger things have happened. We're beginning to dig deep now as we come up to the 1,000 metre mark for Rebecca when she turns up at this uh, the dive block end, top end of the pool is probably a better way of putting it. So Emma's turned in second place there in lane six, Anna McCarty in third. Becca's coming in to 1,000 metres. 500 metres still to go. After this turn, 12.40.22. So the pacing still pretty steady, around 75.76. As I'll pass you over to Stuart for the last 500 metres. Thanks, Jackie. It's been an, an impressive swim. And the last third of this race by Rebecca Somerville she just kept a steady pace over the first stretch and then she's moving well clear now and her entry of 19.30 should definitely be achievable and beatable by a good amount if she keeps going at this pace the second now is really very even between Emma Binney and Honor McCarty. Honor McCarty is just nipped into second now. So Honor, 14 year old, is already qualified for snags. Emma has a consideration as a 15 year old, but not quite a qualification. So she's sitting on 1950 entry qualification in the 15 year old category. 1905, but she's 1951 to consideration, so she's got that consideration. So we're still around the 75 76 second pacing. Rebecca Somerville, she was 135607 at the 1100 meters mark, and I'm opening up a good 20 meters now between herself and Honor in second and then Honor's now just pulling away a little bit at the moment from Emma Binney who's still clearing thirds. The youngest swimmer in lane five, Sarah McGuffey is going very well. Again, she's already got a snags qualification. And she's only 13 years old. So Rebecca Somerville looking good here. At the 1200 meter mark. Let's see what that pacing is. It's 15, 12, 40. So she's just slowed up about a second over the last 100 meters. She's starting to feel it a little bit in the arms. But it's still a good pace, but just dropping off a touch. Uh, Honor has increased her pacing here. So she's in second now. And she's at 15.30, Emma 15.35, so five, five seconds now between second and third. And then about seven seconds behind in lane five. 
Cinema Guppy, so she's she's got Emma in her sights, but we'll see if Emma can respond and just up her pace again. She did give a lot to the first half of this race. So Rebecca Somerville, Anna McCarthy, Emma Binney, and Sarah McGuffey, and then lane two, Lisa McNair. Again, she's an entry of 1939. Yeah. Clear qualification for Stags for her age category. Already in the bag. So at 1300 metre mark, it is 1626.14 for Rebecca Somerville. So she's up to pace again. She's now up to about 75 and a half seconds pacing. So she's increased by a second again on that 100 of the previous 100. So Going very strongly here, Rebecca. She has definitely thought this race plan through. She knew that she had to get that consideration time for Scottish Nationals. On the current pacing, she's, she's certainly going to get that. She'd be sitting around about 19 minutes or just underneath 19 minutes as she keeps going on this pace. So... Watch lane five here. Sarah McGuppy now has Emma Ben in her sights. Maybe not a lot between these two. Connor McCarty is a clear second now. So with 100 metres to go, this will give her a little boost, knowing that she's in the final part of her race on the final lap. So Rebecca Summerwell, 17, 43, 32. So a fraction faster there, but she will certainly be looking to increase the pace going into the home stretch. We would think we would see her break in that 19 minutes. We'll see how much she's got left as she comes to the finish. And coming to the bell there, Anna McCarty. And then Emma Binney and Sarah McGuffey turn at the same time. And looks like Sarah McGuffey is just now edging Emma Binney. Emma is just digging very, very deep to try and find something left for the finish. And then lane two, Lisa McNair. But Rebecca Somerville, very good swim, a very mature swim over the 1500 metre distance. She knew what she had to do. And she had to aim for that 1922 consideration. 18.49 is the qualification and she's just come outside that that's really close but a fantastic swim there from Rebecca Somerville 18 minutes 54 and 20 very good swim from Rebecca so that's a very secure consideration time for Scottish Nationals in the bag and she really can push strong in the second half there and Anna McCarthy now coming towards the finish See what time she can post. 19.21, so that's an eight second improvement for Honor McCarty. And Sarah McGuffey, 19.28.51 again. That's a really good improvement, but 16 seconds. Emma Binney, I didn't quite get that time. Oh, it's not quite got it yet. So let's just wait to see what we've got final scores in the doors here. So it looks like Emma Benny 1935-15. So that's a 15 seconds, almost 16 second improvement. Really good swim there from Emma. She took it out very fast and did pay off in the end. Lee Smith there was a 1946. And finally coming in is Abby McMillan, 
So we move on to the final event of this weekend, and indeed of session four, event 409, the male 14 to 18, 200 meter IM. This is heat one of three, lane one, Andrew Patterson, City of Glasgow. Two, Fraser van der Moulen, Sterling Swimming. Three, Aidan McCavish, Bowness. Four, James Gillis, City of Glasgow. Five, Blake Herdman, Inverclyde. And six, Declan Cassell, East Kilbride. There is an, uh, I'm just going to clarify, I think that might be Rory Duncan from South Ayrshire in lane six. Just looking, yep, that looks like the blue cap of South Ayrshire. So my apologies, um, Rory. Something in heat one as a reserve. So lane four, 108.05 of the first 100 metres, James Gillis, City of Glasgow. Oh, in fact, I mean, right, yep, it's not the uh, cap of South Ayrshire in lane six. Now being confirmed, we have Angus Woods from Kintyre swimming in lane six. Apologies for uh, the confusion there. It's just been confirmed. So lane four, James Gillis, a 16-year-old from City of Glasgow, leading... Fraser van der Moulen from Sterling Swimming in lane two. Very close there at the turn. 155 0 155.7, 7-100, splitting first and second place. And it is Aidan McCavish in third. As the boys have all turned and are heading for home. So the battle between lanes two and four. James Gillis, Fraser van der Moulen, who will gain the advantage here. It looks like it's James at the moment, but this is going to be really tight. It's all in, going to come down to the finish, and James gets that ahead of, in a time of 2.29.08, ahead, ahead of Fraser van der Moulen in a time of 2.29.46, and it is Aidan McCavish finishing in third in a time of 2.30.26. Seat two of three, lane one, Jude Mowbray, City of Glasgow. Two, Aaron Machen, City of Glasgow. Three, Ben Montgomery, Sterling Swim. Four, Jake Ferguson, Grangemouth. Five, Kyle Mossman. And six, Cole Murphy, both City of Glasgow. A uh, good start in lane three. Ben Montgomery, 18 year old from Sterling. So he's. Looks like he's a strong butterfly swimmer and who touched the wall first after 50, 29.65, so a couple of seconds ahead of Jake Ferguson, and behind him, Kyle Mossman, so that's our one, two, three, off the first wall into the backstroke. So each discipline can throw up uh, different strengths with the swimmers. But it's still in front, it is lane three, Ben Montgomery, uh, not by too much, coming through strongly in lane four, Jake Ferguson. Jake Ferguson's in a very strong backstroke. So the Grange Mouth swimmer looks as if he might just pip it at the halfway point. Uh, Jake Ferguson, 107.14. Ben Montgomery, 108.20. And just behind him, Kel Mossman, 108.78 to go into the breaststroke. And that was a fantastic transition. And lane three, Ben Montgomery. Showing his prowess here on the breaststroke and he's stretching away from the rest of the field. So Ben Montgomery looking very strong. Ben's entry, 226.79. He'll be eyeing up that snags consideration of 223.07 in his category. Well, he's definitely giving this one a go into the freestyle. About five seconds up in the rest of the field after that breaststroke. So as he hits the two-minute mark, 
see what he can do here. So 2.23.07 is the one he'll be trying to chase as he approaches 2.20 and I think he will make this and he has 2.21.44 so a safe snags consideration there for Ben, second place Jake Ferguson, 227.94 and third is Aaron Machen, 229.71 Event 409, the final race of this weekend's racing. In lane one, Cameron Gill, Grangemouth. Two, Guy Pelosi, City of Glasgow. Three, Logan van der Moulen, Sterling Summing. Four, Kai Connolly, City of Glasgow. Five, Finley Bennett, Rutherglen. And six, Kyle Connolly, City of Glasgow. So we have four snags qualifiers in this heat and two very close to consideration times. I all know what they've got to do. They'll have looked at those times. They'll be looking to improve times that they already have for qualification. But it is lane three. Logan van der Moulen, the 17-year-old from Sterling Swimming. He said he has already qualified with his entry time of 2.13.32. He's leading the field down to the halfway mark and the transition into breaststroke. It is Kai Connolly from formerly of City Glasgow now East Kilbride in second place and in third it's Finley Bennett the Rutherglen swimmer so let's see what happens in this breaststroke section Logan is moving away so they need to chase him what can Kai do alongside him what can Finley do second and third at the moment Logan going into the wall leading and he'll turn for home into the freestyle 143.34 for him he's got three second lead four second lead from second place Kai Connolly Finley Bennett in behind him Finley will see Kai. Kai will know that Finley's chasing him. But it's no doubt who the winner is of this final race, this 200 IM. It is the, from Sterling Swimming, Logan van der Moulen. Watch the clock. 2.15.75. We'll be pleased with that. That's an improvement on his entry time, an improvement on his qualifying time. Kai Connolly finishing in second, 2.21.80. And Finley Bennett coming in third in a time of 2.23.89. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the racing here uh, for the West District Pre-Snags meet this weekend. Thank you very much for joining us both in the Spectator Gallery and on live stream. Huge, huge thank you to all of our volunteers, our technical officials down on poolside, our marshals, our medals. Awards, so those working on the awards table, everyone working um, behind the scenes. We couldn't have done this meet without you. Massive thank you and safe journey home to everybody.